Now with a growing trend for travel and a new medical report tonight on just how dangerous it can be. Electric scooters speeding down the street and the sidewalk all over the country now behind a rash of emergency room visits. Here's ABC's Marcy Gonzalez. Tonight, doctors warning about extreme injuries caused by those trendy motorized scooters growing in popularity across the country. They don't understand the speed and the potential danger with that speed. A new study published this week tallying electric scooter injuries from two California emergency rooms, finding 249 people hurt in one year alone. 91% were riders, not pedestrians, and most injured riders, 95%, were not wearing a helmet. Anybody who gets on a scooter going 15 miles an hour should definitely wear a helmet to protect the brain. Kelly Mitchum on her first electric scooter ride in Dallas sent flying over the handlebars and landing face first. When you hit the cement at 17 miles an hour, it hurts. Pat Brogan riding a scooter downhill in San Diego when she says the brakes wouldn't work. Her crash leaving her cut and bruised, sending her to the hospital for surgery on her broken hand. But I thought it was going to die. Multiple cities across the country now banning electric scooters, some just temporarily as they study whether regulation is needed. And some people frustrated by them littering the streets and causing hazards for pedestrians, sending a message, setting them on fire and burying them in sand. And one company, Bird, tells us injuries are only reported in a fraction of a percent of all rides. Still, experts say you should carefully read the corporate agreement you sign, acknowledging the risks. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.